Today on the podcast, I have Laura Behrens, and she is the founder and owner of loveandfit.com. And it is an amazing active wear line for leggings and bras and pajamas. And it's like extra small and small all the way to 3X. She's been featured on Good Morning America and Christy Teigen is wearing her leggings and she talked about them on her Instagram. So, I mean, Christy Teigen's are wearing these and this is like, I mean, I love this girl. She's out of California and she's even created a discount co code for all of the listeners and it's Meredith 10, one zero. So M-E-R-E-D-Y-T-H, the number one, the number zero, and stay tuned because we are talking all things fashion, fitness, capris, nursing bras, like one of a kind. You have no idea. So stay with me. Hello, everyone. This is Meredith with a Y, and I am your host, Meredith Willett. Today, we are going to go deep, changing lives, and I am giving you the keys to the castle. I'm super excited to talk about your brand and how you got to this point. So thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, I am excited to chat. And I, when you're talking fashion, anything to do with clothing, I know how difficult it is because I did it for five minutes. And I know that from trying to get your labels handled to hang tags to material and then making sure the material comes the exact same way the next time. And that you're, you know, the people sewing your, I mean, you're, you're in it. So like, I'm so excited to talk to you about it, the fashion and not only is the fashion, what you're doing is like insane. I mean, oh, Christy Teigen, you. come on. Yeah. I was, <laughs> was really um, shocked and surprised when that happened. So, <laughs> so how did, did she just order off the website? Like she did, or? she did. And I still, to this day, I think there was like a friend of hers or someone, I don't know how she found out about us. Um, but yeah, she went and I had ordered from our website and um, probably like a month later or something, I was at Costco with, with my kid <laughs> and all of a sudden um, I get all these like pings on my phone and I'm like what is going on oh something must have happened I don't know what's going on and I was and I went to my Instagram and I saw she went on Instagram she went on stories and started talking about our stay put like leggings and how much she loved him or whatever and I was like oh my gosh we gotta go we gotta go <laughs> So I grabbed my daughter, Kaya. I was like, I got to talk to my email girl and make sure everything's set up. Like, cause you know, it, it yeah, kind of like made a big influx to our website. So that was, that was pretty cool. Um, and she, you know, just I, the, uh, the clip is so fun. She's just like, Hey, I don't like get paid to do this or anything. I just really love these leggings that I found from this brand love and fit. So I was super, um, like just th thankful that she liked the stuff and told everyone about it. <laughs> That is amazing. And I, you have a six month old now and a five year old. She's now seven months old, but yes, seven okay. month old and a five year old. Yep. And so can you tell everybody just, and I'm not going to even try, I'm going to try not to interrupt. I swear. Um, what love and fit is and how it was born literally. Sure. So my daughter, uh, Kaya is five now when she was about two months old to three months old, I was a brand new mom. You know, this is all new to me, but I've always been into workout. I've always been into like fitness and that kind of thing. So I was, uh, working on in my living room and the baby was next to me and I would like, okay, I'm going to feed her. And then I'd set her down. And then like, you know, you'd get through like 10 minutes and all of a sudden the baby wakes up again. And I'm like, I don't know. Is she hungry again? Like what is going on? Okay. I have to feed her again. And by like the 10th time of like pulling up my tight, sweaty sports bra. And like, you know, I felt like everything was getting smushed and stuff. Smush. I said, Gosh, there's gotta be like, you know, kind of like a moisture wicking, super comfortable nursing sports bra. Like there just has to be right. You know? Right. So I went out on the market. And I remember I ordered three, one I had to get from out of uh, the country. Uh, and then there was two that I could get in the United States. And one came and it was like cloth and there was like no, there was no support. Uh, it was like cutting into my rib cage. The other one was super small. I think it was underwire. And then He's uh, like the other one. Yeah. Anyways, it just, nothing was like, and I go, and I, so I kept researching and researching and I was like, I can't believe they don't have something that like, right. is just like soft and comfortable and supportive for these. So, so I told one of my mom friends, I said, I think, um, I think I'm going to make one. And she was, she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like, <you know? laughs> she's like, okay, Laura, whatever. And then like a month later, I was like, hey, so I like got some samples, blah, blah. And she was like, oh my God, she's really doing it. And that's you're really that, how. You're that boss bitch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I actually like did what I was going to say. Cause she's like, right? most people just say something and they're like, whatever. So yeah. And we um, first launched on a little Kickstarter campaign. I had like, I had the nursing sports bra and then I did create leggings that have grips inside of them. So they don't roll or fall down. Cause I just kept saying, what are all the things I need? Like during postpartum or just, or not even like, just even if I didn't have kids, like I didn't want leggings that rolled down. So we launched on Kickstarter and now we're uh, about three and a half years old and we've been selling online. We sell into um, wholesale boutiques across the United States as well. And like, that's so fast to be, I mean, but I think that like to launch and now you're in boutiques and you're online and Christy Teigen and you were on um, Good Morning America. I mean, you're killing it. And, and, and for those of you that want to see her stuff, um, go to YouTube and, and check it out too. We're going to pull out, I'm going to make her pull out a couple pieces, but I'm like, they're right behind her shoulder and the colors are insane. I mean, when I talk the most beautiful, like lilac, purple, and yeah, like greens, like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Stop. So like, they're literally beautiful colors too. And it was funny because I, I was, I remember, oh, there was a gal on TikTok because I love TikTok and she had just had a baby and she flipped the camera off. Someone must have called her fat or something because she had like a flat stomach and she pulled her baby who looks like it's about four months old. She's like, screaming, you know, yeah. but so many women after post baby, they want to go for a walk. They want to not yeah. have to try to put jeans on. They want to get back into the, some yoga or some stretching, you know, whatever. And their uterus isn't back down yet. You know what I mean? Nursing or not, uh -huh. it takes a hot minute to get just your uterus to shrink down to size. Let's not even talk about muscles and the rest of the weight gain. Yeah. So the fact that you put this and that you, it's patent pending, isn't it? For that yeah, patent pending piece. for the leggings. Yeah. Yeah. So it's patent pending. So this is, I mean, you're like seven steps ahead of the planet because as I sit here, my leggings are rolling down. Yeah. Just so you know, but and I have the guardians on right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get like real up close person. So you can I see mean, there's the grips and it and matches. So it's not like right here um, and they'll just stay put. And I worked out them this morning. I mean, I've done videos of them. I mean, yeah. they, they don't move. Yeah. And but I mean, you when in. you have that like belly, <laughs> it's, it's, it, you know, it's like, it's just, it rolls down. You know yeah, what I mean? rolls or I feel like slight starts to slide like down and then your butt right. like it's baggy on your butt and you're like cranking up your leggings on each side I was just like don't they isn't there some like there's something we can't make leggings that like don't move <laughs> I can't even yeah. and I mean the thing like when you and I were talking at the pre-interview was how did we get to today and I mean just think about this out there ladies who are listening to the women in business series and this is not the only one that I'm talking to that has created something in the last five years that is specifically for women. Why haven't we thought about this before? What is happening on our planet that we are coming out with things? This isn't rocket science. This is a amazing sports bra and leggings for women to make our lives, wait for it, normal. So that your yeah. boob isn't flying out of the top of a tight sports bra or being compacted, which we all know if you've nursed, how uncomfortable and painful is. And so you literally, uncomfortable. And you know your kid's getting shot in the face with milk within one second because that boob squish and the milk yep. shoots all over their face because you've got this whole situation. How, I mean, I love you so much for oh. seeing a problem for not only yourself, but all women. And so tapping into that, I can do attitude. And now we're three years, whatever. And you're, yeah. I mean, come on. I think, I, I think that the idea has definitely probably been there. Like I've heard yeah. people go like, Oh, I've, I've thought of something like, or I've always Ooh. wanted something like that. What it comes down to is, you know, maybe that, that mom or that person already has a full-time job. That's right. not something she wants to try to create, blah, blah, blah. And I just think, you know, just so happened that I was in the place of wanting to move forward with it. And um, even though I didn't have a fashion industry background, I had business development, I had sales. My background's actually like in the music industry. I was going to say so music. Completely different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> completely different. Um, 
but I just, I just had a drive. I always kind of knew I wanted to start my own company too. I knew I always wanted to be my own boss. Yeah. And I thought, well, this might be it. This might be like this. I just, but like before I had kids, I would have obviously never thought I would be doing this. <laughs> right. Right. Cause yeah. I mean, but I always look at that, that moment, like what you're just talking about. And I talk to people about this so much is that, that inner voice speaking to us. And we either listen and buy the batteries at Walmart while we're walking by them and think that we don't need them, but the whisper says buy batteries and then we get home and there's, right. And so there's that whisper, (laughs) like you just said, I've always thought about that. And and it's like that, like it's coming down from the universe and it's told a thousand women to do this, but they're like, keep knocking on doors. You know, spirit keeps knocking on doors. The universe keeps knocking on doors until someone actually takes action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know, lots of people get whispers, but you actually did it. And you started, you said with, as you just mentioned, Kickstarter. So for those people out there that are like, okay, Meredith, I have an idea and I have a thousand dollars in my checking account. What do they do? How does that work? Well, I mean, that's why I did it on Kickstarter. I mean, I had some savings, which right. I ended up putting all into the company at the end of it all, <laughs> but um, cause I really believed in it. I believed in yeah. it. So I used li- all my savings, like all the jobs I had where I got commissions, I had saving and I put it all into the company, but I, I was like, well, we don't really, I don't know if this is going to take off or not. Like Kickstarter is a great platform to just see if your idea, you know, people think it's cool if they're going to buy it. So, um, you get it up on Kickstarter, you promote it, you market it. You know, uh, I looked for someone that had done it before, asked them questions, like, how did it work? What'd you guys do? Um, and then you do have to, you know, buy a little product, but I only had bought in like a hundred pair of leggings. Like it wasn't like I spent thousands and thousands of dollars. Like I started super small. Yeah. Uh, and when we sold out of everything on Kickstarter, I, and again, it was very small little part. Um, like, I think it ended up being like 250 units total, total. I was like, okay, well, we had a little money from selling that that I started, okay, now let me build, like get the website created. And everyone thinks that you have to have like so much money for start creating a website, blah, blah, blah. You can find people, you know, that are just starting out that are like, oh, I want to do it for, you know, half of what someone else is doing because they want to use it for their, you know, promotional resume or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Right. And that's what I did. Like every, every step, every week, it was just like, Okay, next we need to start our Instagram. Now we need to start Instagram influencers. Now, a lot of all of that I did by myself for the first eight months to a year. Shipping, inventory, design, everything was me. Yeah. Um, Which was really hard, definitely. Those one woman show is no joke. Super hard, especially when you're a mom. Yeah. Uh, That's difficult. So, um, you know, but that's how you, that's how you can start is, is something like Kickstarter. If you have an idea for a product per se. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of women or or men, whatever, want to start. And what you're saying, you know, like the first couple of years, it's lonely. And when you do that Kickstarter, it's kind of interesting because it does give you that confidence that, okay, there's 250 people that saw it, like it, believed in it and want to spend money on it. So that's a great litmus test of where you're at as far as product and colors and, and, and the whole, the whole thing. So that had to fuel your fire of, all right, there's some runway here. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to just validate that. Like I wasn't crazy. Like yeah. I wanted it, but does everyone else, does all these other moms that like, you know, want to walk, walk or go on a hike or work out, want it too. And yeah. then that validated it. Yeah, that is, uh, I love it. So, and you said that, um, and one of the things that I love about your product And I was really blown away with it because I will tell you being in fashion for me anyways, when I was with Morph was sizing Mm, and getting the size right and ordering the right numbers of each sizes, because, you know, if you don't sell, you know, pants or leggings or bras, because you pick the wrong sizes and how many of, you know, each that's money down the toilet Mm -hmm. and you, your brand loveandfit.com, your brand is extra small in leggings to 3XL and your bras are small to 3XL. Yep. Yeah. Can we get an (laughs) amen? I mean, can we get a what, what in the house? That is unbelievable. That's still difficult though, to create those size charts for the nursing sports bra. I will tell you that. It's impossible. Um, No, what you're doing is impossible. 
it, it's, it's still always a work in progress because to be honest most people don't know what size they really are so they're ordering something and then they're like well I don't fit but I thought I was a 34d blah blah, blah. so I mean bra sizing just in general is like really hard um yeah. but we're really trying to do our best online to educate uh moms on how to size themselves before they order yes and fabric I mean there's so much that goes into it if the fabric is a little tighter it's going to feel like it's smaller but you know so it's right <laughs> no that and, and, and it's a struggle I mean like you said if it does it this fabric green stretches different than purple stretches people do Which not actually understand actually true actually I, true the dyeing of yep. our leggings like if yep. it's a lighter color yep it's actually not as soft <laughs> and it could be a firmer fit, but it's the same legging, same fabric, but same the fabric. Tie is different. I know it's yeah. so, but you can't, it's hard. You know, I'm not going to like Give announce everyone. that on our website. Like, by the exactly. way, the lighter dye is, <laughs> you know, though, I, I that you're saying that though, like I was just looking at gym shoes yesterday and they did have one of those like lines and it's like, most people says it fits actual small or larger, maybe like it, people say it fits this way with one of those like, little oh, I see what you're saying. toggles yeah. yeah just you know because I because if you go Adidas or you go I was looking at gym shoes Brooks it fits wide it fits narrow it fits short so it, yeah. I was like okay how does it fit and they're like true to size I'm like perfect so yeah. that might be an option because I do know that that is a pain in the butt as far as especially stretchy fabric is super bizarro yeah. um so when you go do Kickstarter you take and you put your product in there and you kind of like pre-sell it. Is that how that works? Pretty much it. Yeah. I, so I, it was like, Hey, here's, you know, hundred pair of leggings, whatever, 150 bras, you pre-sell it. Um, and then typically most people take that money and then they use that to make the product. Gotcha. Um, I had already started making a little bit even before Kickstarter. Um, so when Kickstarter ended, I had the rest of the money to like make the rest of the units. Gotcha. And so where like, I know you said you were housing in the beginning, all of that product, which, <laughs> which box is the extra small purple bra? I, I can't even imagine. Yeah. Um, and we got to ship it out and blah, and then return. Oh, in my, I was thing. just sitting in my living room with boxes. So that's pretty much what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so when you're, you know, you're getting these, these fabrics, I mean, and then you're getting someone to sew them. Are you sewing them in the States? Where are you having this stuff made at this point? So right now, the best quality to make, first of all, nursing sports bras have a lot of stuff going on. Okay. You got clips here. You got hook and eyes. You got the three layers. You got sewn in padding. It's a whole thing. I've tried all over the place. I've tried Brazil. I've tried the United States. I've tried China and Asia everywhere. Else. The, the best that I've came across that has the quality that I want is overseas. Gotcha. Yep. And so, so you have three layers of fabric yep. and padding. Well, so you have the under layer, okay. um, which kind of is the circle around the breast gotcha. and then the layer on top of that, but that layer on top of that has the padding sandwiched in between. Gotcha. So, yeah. so you can put like your nursing pads in there. You can yeah, for the ones that are not, we, we had some people request sewn in. So there is two bras that are sewn in okay. and then we have two bras that are removable padding. So you could put, I, that's why I made it removable. You can put your nursing pads in, you gotcha. know, like if you're leaking that kind of thing. So, um, there's something for everyone. If you like the sewn in, there's bras for that. If you don't like the sewn in, you want to remove it. We got that too. So, and then, and then the, the leggings though, I mean, that's not, a pregnancy situation. So if you're, if you're not in line with having babies or where I'm at in life, I'm, you know, nine years out, thank the Lord. And, uh, <laughs> but you're, you sell <laughs> leggings period. I mean, they're leggings yeah. for anybody. There's no such thing as, but let me ask you this. Do you have quote maternity leggings or do we do? So yeah. you do. Okay. So explain yeah. that. So, um, when I originally had the leggings, I, okay. I created them as pre to post our first le or leggings that ever came out were called pre to post. I was like, I want leggings that I can wear before pregnancy, during pregnancy and after, like, why do I have to like change up all this, like go buy five pairs and never wear them again, blah, blah, blah. Right. So, um, that was kind of the concept that I first came out with, but when you have, um, more of a compressive fabric with grips on them, you could only wear them up to like about 20 weeks of okay. pregnancy. Okay. So, the ones that we sell even now, we do have people that are pregnant that wear them. They're, they're not considered maternity. They wear them up to probably like 20, 25 weeks. And then they reintroduce them after they have the baby. So there's yeah. like 10 weeks where they're not 10 to 15 weeks where they're not 
um, wearing them. Um, but then I also have specific maternity leggings that go over the belly and still have the grips on the top so they won't slide down your belly. Yeah. Uh, specifically for maternity. But otherwise, like our capris and our guardian leggings um, just took off for everyone. Like, you know, we have grandmas that order them. We have, you know, uh, you know, 20 year olds that don't have kids yet that order them. Like it says, it doesn't, you don't have to be a mom. <laughs> Yeah. So, so because of the stretch, you have to take that 20, that, what would that be? 20 week pause. I mean, everyone pops yeah, out it depends, differently. It varies I mean, it though. Depends. Like some people, like I've had, there has been some customers that wear them all 40 weeks. I'm like, okay, right. that's cool. I, I felt more comfortable wearing them up to like 20 weeks. Yeah. Um, but then if you, if you're actually pregnant, you can order the, the actual maternity ones too. Gotcha. And then those come in, are there, um, you said Capri and then long, Yep. Seven eighth link. Do, yeah. Do you guys do shorts? We do. We have one pair um, of guardian shorts. They have their biker shorts. They have pockets on the side and they're Stop. high-waisted with the silicone grips as well. So the silicone grips are like on absolutely everything. Yes. All the Amazing. leggings, bottoms. Yep. And what is the guardian word? What does that exemplify? Is that meaning like it holds up or what? Is yeah. That? Like guardian as in secure yeah. and keeping you all together. Like they're kind of a compressive, like a lot of people say they put them on, they just feel like super secure Yeah, and then they stay put. And a lot of people have said that they think it makes their butt look good too. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Right. So I was like, right. Yeah. So, um, and I th really think it's the fabric. I, I, it took me a long time to find this specific fabric for these leggings. Um, but that's why I call them guardian. Cause I just feel like they hold you in and they're like, you know, keeping you secure. Yeah. Now with the bras, I mean, your people are wearing those well after, breastfeeding yeah. they probably are wearing it when they are working out when they're not working out I mean let's be perfectly honest you know as well as I do if it's between putting on a soft moist moisture wicking okay moisture yeah. that means sweat that means you know leaking boobs I mean everything moisture wicking bra I mean I'm going for that nine times out of ten over my normal nursing bra I mean no offense but I'm going with your bra yeah and, and also like even if you're going to go for a walk, like normal right. nursing bras sometimes are not supportive, like depending on what you have, but this specific bra, look at the back. Oh my God. Gorgeous. Okay. So moms will All wear weave. this. They're done. Like their kids are five years old. We're still wearing this, you know, hundred percent. You guys have to go to YouTube. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Or over to her, um, her love and fit.com or like Instagram and that the, the, it's like, um, like it's a, a braided, it's called the strappy back strappy yeah. back is just yeah. so beautiful. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. And then the, 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 the band around the underneath where the, you know, underneath the boobs is very, very like thick. So it's not going to like curl in half. Yeah. It's not going to ride up, you know, it's going to stay where you want it to stay. And it's smooth. There's no there's no digging into the body because of being too thin and the straps over the shoulder. She's thought through 10 times because you can see how nice and wide they are. Those aren't going to cut either as your boobs get bigger and fuller and whatever else. And it, the colors are insane. So you guys have to go check that out. So. And adjustable. It, yeah. And I can, as yeah, your boobs get bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller when you're breastfeeding, I was like, we need adjustable straps and adjustable bands. So you can adjust like everything on the bra. So the question I keep hearing in my head is two things. What is the biggest challenge that you fought, found in starting your business? And what made you like, just, I don't know if the word is no, that you could do it or mm -hmm. like, where'd that confidence come from? Like, do you have a like supportive family husband? Or are you just like, just that boss bitch that, you know, I have to have in my life. <laughs> um, I'm, I will say like, I'm a little neurotic and a control freak. So that kind of helps me in this situation. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, I have to have it perfect. Oh my gosh. The bra has to be perfect. Like, oh my. <laughs> um, but uh, the hardest challenge I would say in the beginning was doing everything myself. And then um, a big, a big challenge that every business is going to run into is cash flow. So mm -hmm. if you don't have, I, I've never had an investor. This I'm completely self-funded. Um, trying to figure out how you can order large amounts of inventory, like you know, getting a loan, credit cards, like all those things I've done. Um, because I didn't have some, a company come in and go, oh, I'm going to take 50% of your company and, or, and invest. I wanted control over what my company is doing. Not yeah. saying that that, you know, who knows what the future will bring on that. But um, I, I do like 
being in in every decision in my company. Um, Not arguing with anybody over colors or direction or pricing. Yeah. Yeah. But that's also difficult because then you were doing everything like, you know, and I, again, my team has definitely built out now and I'm not doing everything anymore, but that's the most difficult, I think in the beginning and like the cash flow when you're starting off a business. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a thin person. Everyone looks at the thin person and is like, oh, she's got good genes. He's got good genes. It's like, no, their ass is up every day at 5 a.m. and they eat healthy. And that's kind of like the same thing that I found with businesses is everyone's like, oh, this probably is family money or that probably was easy to hand. People don't understand that to do what you've done, you know, to, to, to start a business from the ground up, you literally are YouTubing yourself of how to do everything. You're researching, yes. you're Googling, like, how, how, when should I post on Instagram? How did, how does Canva work, you know, to create this yep. stuff and, you know, plug and play I would, websites. I would, yeah. I, uh, I wish it was family money. Jeez. I, I, know, wish. Right? <laughs> I right? you know, my, my dad is, my dad owned, um, he's retired now, but he owned his own business too. And I think that oh, that's why that I kind of good. saw yep. him like that, but no, I asked my dad, I'm like, Oh dad, can, you know, could you give me a loan? He said, no. So he's like, when people, yeah, he's like no, 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 you gotta do this on your own girl. So, um, but how nice is it to not have that like loan hanging over your head too? like, you're like, Hey, I got, I did it myself. This is all, I mean, like, and you're in Santa Clarita, uh, Valencia, California. So you're just, um, North of LA. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, are all the moms running around Valencia in the love and fit clothes? I mean, um, I, you got, you need to, would you have like parties in your house and sell this stuff or what? <laughs> well, obviously, like obviously last year, not really because of COVID, Yeah. but no, I've done some pop-up shops around here. Um, I've partnered with some of the like mom fit groups locally. Um, there's definitely quite a few moms running around in the love and fit. And it's fun because I'll like, we'll go somewhere. I'll see someone in the leggings and it's just, it's kind of fun to like, be like, I can't believe that they're, they're wearing my leggings. Right, it's like hearing your song on the radio yeah. for the first time, right? It's like, oh, yeah. she's wearing my leggings. Oh my God, don't make eye contact. I know. I'm like, I, like, I'm the owner. <laughs> most of the time, like, I, yeah, I don't like, but sometimes, I don't know. It depends. Sometimes I kind of know them or whatever, and I'll see them at the gym and I'll be like, oh, hi, oh my gosh, how do you like them? Like, it's more of me like running up and getting feedback. Like, do you right. like this? Did you not like this? What did you, what? And I like them to give me negative feedback too. I know that sounds funny, but I'm like, what don't you like about it so I can fix it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's so, I, that, but that, I mean, that, that shows thick, thick skin because a lot of people look at something like what you've done and it's kind of like your baby and you don't want anyone to tell you that your baby's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's so, that I, I say that all the time. I was like, this is my second baby. And then I had my, you know, third baby. It's like, really, right. <laughs> this is the middle child. Yeah, like it's all the yep. attention. Yep. <laughs> or, or none of it. It's like, it is what it is. So how has that been, you know, juggling having two kids, like you said, seven months now and five years, like how, like, when do you make time for work and do you have to have a nanny? Like, how does that, cause yeah. a lot of people are like, okay, great. I want to be an entrepreneur, but I do have two kids. What do I do with them all day? How do I juggle this? It's definitely been hard. And, um, in the beginning when it was just Kaya, it was a little bit easier cause I just had one. Um, but that was when I was working a ton cause it was just me doing everything. Now I have, you know, I have employees and I have people doing certain things. So it's it freed up my time a little bit so I can just focus on the tasks that I need to focus on. But no, there's definitely days where I have a baby on my hip. I'm on a conference call. I'm like, Kaya, get off the couch, (laughs) you know? And then, then I'm not, not on a conference call. Then I'm on something like this and the kids are running in the dogs barking. Like it is when someone says like, Oh, well she works from home. Right. So she could just take care of the kids. Like I almost want to, I just, my knee, Oh my gosh, I go crazy. I go bonkers. I'm like, do you know how much work it is to run a business and take care of two kids? So we have recently gotten help, which is amazing. We have an awesome nanny that comes in just part-time so I can get like, get one-on-one work done, you know? Yeah. Um, Really focus, check in and check out. But that's yeah. not always been the case. Like we, like there's been times where we can't, we couldn't afford that when I was starting the business. So yeah, you just did what you had to do. And sometimes I was up at 1230 at night after the, after Kaya went to sleep working, you know? Yeah, and, and that's another thing people don't understand is, you know, sometimes it's getting up at 4am and being up till 1am because you have quiet time. I remember I finished my degree, my college degree, when my two older kids were three and five, I think it was at the time. 
and they'd go to bed at eight and everyone thought I was an idiot in summer because it's literally sunny outside and I'm putting my yeah. kids to get bed. But guess what? It's survival. Now I had time to do my homework. So I was doing homework, writing papers, finishing my degree after eight o'clock at night. Like you just got to do what you got to do. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. And if you really want it bad enough, like that's what you have to do. It's just like, if you want to like lose weight or, you know, yeah. build muscle or whatever, it's just, you just, I tell people just put in the work every day, get up and put in the work, just keep putting in the work. And yeah. if you keep doing that, then yeah. Like, like myself, like three and a half years later, I'm like, Oh wow, we've grown. Like, wow. We're selling online a lot more. Like, but that was every day getting up and doing the work. Yeah. So you, so it's, it's so, I mean, people don't, I mean, it's a lot of work. So the you have the bras you have the leggings capri full length you have the biker short do you have anything thing else because i do want to make sure everyone goes yes and so we have um which are this is like one of my favorite things when i had my babies both of them we have nursing hoodies so they're like super super cozy like the softest fabric ever and they have zippers on both sides so you can nurse without like having to take off um you know, your hoodie or jacket or anything like that, or pull it up. Um, so definitely great for winter or like cold, um, nights. Um, right now it's really hot, but, <laughs> um, so the nursing hoodie, we have nursing PJs, which are a PJs that I wanted. Again, I'm creating stuff that I'm like, wow, why don't they have something like this? Oh super, gosh. super bamboo fabric pulled to the side nursing. So you can literally wake up in the middle of the night in the bed, pull it to the side nurse, put your, you don't have to take your top off or anything like that uh, pajamas. So oh those are gosh. awesome as well. That's amazing. So I know that this is going to be after mother's day, which stinks, but it is what it is. But, uh, for everyone listening out there, these are some stellar gifts, you know, like oh, yeah. to bring to baby delivery or, you know, just a, a beautiful surprise gift or a birthday. I mean, I would have given anything to have those luxuries. I mean, I, I thought I was like making waves when I would go to get my, you know, nursing uh, cami, you know, like where, mm -hmm. so your whole stomach's yep. not showing, you know, you could keep the kit from target. Um, but these things are some next level. I mean, this is like to make nursing as easy as possible, as comfortable as possible, as stylish as possible. And I love that you're using these amazing fabrics that are soft and nurturing to the woman wearing it. Like you've thought of all what you want in life. You know, yeah. I love that. I love yeah, that. Yeah, great for someone who's pregnant or about to have the baby. And then oh. the leggings, the leggings are honestly great for any woman. Right. Any woman. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, like if you've got a shower coming up or, you know, like baby showers or whatever, you know, these are presents to go in on. I mean, borrow your friend's, you know, stroller and get this for yourself. <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> Spend money where, where it matters. Your kid can use someone else's stroller, but this stuff is, is amazing. So I just want to make sure I've got all your, so everyone knows your, um, Instagram and you're on Facebook. Yes. And all of it is love and fit. The Instagram is love and fit shop. Okay. And then everything else is just love and fit. So Facebook is love and fit. Okay. And then you were saying that you had videos of a lot of stuff. Is that on Instagram? Can they find that? Yeah. We have a ton of stuff on Instagram. We have like reels, reviews, everything in the highlights. We're really big on Instagram. I would say okay, if you want to see other people wearing the products, different sizes, um, that's where you'd go as Instagram. That's great for that. Yeah. And the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. I went on your site and very affordable too. I mean, this is completely in line price point with everything that's out there, but this is, you know, at least the nursing part and the paternity is very, you know, keyed in to take care of nursing, the nursing mom. So I think that is, is huge. Um, oh yeah, I did have that written down there. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Oh, and the, you were saying it's, um, high and mid impact is the nursing bras. Is that correct? So the Athena, we have the Athena nursing sports bra, which is a high to mid one. And then the strappy back is like a low to mid. So okay. we, it, it goes from low to high, depending on gotcha. what you, what you're looking for. And then we also have a nursing and pumping sports bra. So you can pump in it, work out in it and nurse in it. I can't, I mean, <laughs> it's literally the best ever. 
Well, I so appreciate you like coming on and sharing, you know, the Kickstarter and, you know, your challenges and all that stuff and your beautiful products and everyone that is listening, run, don't walk over to loveandfit.com and all of her Instagram and see the colors and the products. And I mean, we can't touch them, but order, order them for your best friend or sister or whomever at the office, because you will absolutely love your products. And I just want to thank you as a woman for being fearless and starting your company and seeing a need and jumping because like you said, there's lots of women that got that push, but no one answered the calling. So thank you for all the women ahead that are going to have this amazing, amazing product. And just that you thought of it and, and were so fearless, not fearless, but courageous in the face of fear and nervousness and, you know, all the other stuff that goes with being a female entrepreneur. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. And I would say to any listeners out there that are like me, like go for it. Like, you don't, I always tell myself, I didn't want to be the old lady at 90 years old saying, I wish I would have done it. Yeah. I I just heard recently and it was really good. Um, It actually was in a, on a call and the woman said, she's an entrepreneur. She said, the only thing that she fears is regret. Yeah, I would, wouldn't you? I mean, just listen, like, I just imagine myself like on a rocking chair. <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird. Right. And I'm like, oh man, if I didn't, like, I don't want to feel that, you know? So if you feel like you have a calling, I always just tell people like, just go for it. Who cares if you fail? Like, at least you can say you did it. At least you, you know? can say you tried and you got yeah. your feet wet. And any um, people out there that are listening that do have a store or a gym or whatever, do they contact you through your website if they want to um, carry your stuff at their boutiques or whatever? How does that Yeah, work? right on our website, right at the bottom, there's a wholesale link. So they would just click okay. that and they, that's how they can contact us to, to start selling wholesale at their gym or boutique or store. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so much again for being here and sharing your story and your products. And I'm so excited to like go on there and just like peruse again. I was on there earlier, but I was just like, oh my God. We need to get you some leggings. I I I gotta get you some leggings. I need to get some of of these leggings so I can cruise around town and be like, and oh, and that's the other thing. I love the idea of love and fit because it's just, it's a great, I don't know if you're, you're, you're preaching love and your fitness and health and all that stuff. So I love the name. I clearly Meredith with a Y I'm, I'm kind of into that thing. So I love love and like, I want to, I want a hat. We need some love and fit hats. Like that. Oh, be- I know. I guess I got to start doing hats. I don't know. <laughs> like, like how cute would it be? Like love with like a line and then fit underneath it. Like just so oh, cute. So cute. Right? right? Oh my God. You're giving me ideas. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I'm, I'm right here for you. Well, thank you again so much, Laura. I appreciate it. And everyone just go check out our website and Instagram and all the good stuff and go buy some new leggings for your wife or sister or loved one. And, and we will talk next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for listening. If you would like to connect on a more personal level, head over to MeredithWillets.com or on Instagram at Meredith with a Y for behind the scene footage and outtakes. Please subscribe and come back each week for more Meredith with a Y. Thanks again for listening. Cheers. Cheers.